Gay O'Callaghan admitted himself that he normally doesn't do things like speaking on camera, but when the TDN approached him to speak about Dark Angel, the Yeomanstown Patriarch didn't hesitate but to sit down and have a chat. A stallion whose imprint on the breed will last for many, many years to come, Gay tells us just how important Dark Angel is. To get a horse like Dark Angel is just it's kind of a miracle, like, you know. You know you, they just happen to you. you. You don't buy them, you don't find them, they just happen to you. From the day he was born, he was a real good foal. Very strong, very solid, well, well made, tremendous action. I think he ran about either nine or 11 times as a two-year-old. He, he won all his races from the front. But once he, they jumped him out in front in the, in the sales race at Doncaster, in, 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 in the middle park, in the mill reef, he just made all, made all those races, which was the makings of it. Once his runners started to come, they started to win from, from, from the world go. I think he ended up with 36 two-year-old winners his first crop in his first year, which is a, which is a good number, you know, which is a, re a really good number. And everything from May on, everything that was running was winning, you know, and it was just it just started to get exciting from there, you know. The only the biggest problem with these, with like a dark angel, they, you know, they won't go on forever, you know. So you need to keep to try and keep replacing them. And what does the dark angel put into his stock? I think he puts, one thing he puts into them is soundness anyway. They are, they're all very, very sound. They have good minds. But the one thing that's coming through at the moment is that Dark Angel fillies are definitely going to become very good broodmares. That is definitely very true. I mean, we've been following his, his fillies now for, for the last couple of years, stood, and they, are, they have become extra, extra successful. He'll be in pedigrees for years to come, years and years to come. He's an easy horse to do. Very healthy horse, very you know, very simple horse to deal with. He likes to be in the field by himself. All the others like to have cattle with him. He doesn't like to have the cattle with him. He likes to do the to himself and he's very happy there, so simple as that. Grange Moore bred Sharon, both Guy and David bred that together and he, he's I mean he's a wonderful horse, he's a very successful horse. Hopefully he's going he goes to France in about two weeks' time. Hopefully he'll his track again, you know, on the, in another group one. We had a very good Ascot and he's leading at the moment. Um, every week that goes by now, you know, he has to keep topping it up or else he won't stay there. As simple as that, you know. I mean, by the end of the year, it, it will possibly change again, but sure, we'd hope that the thing would continue for the, for most of the year anyway, you know. Um, look, it's, it's, it's great to have him up there at any stage. But he means everything. He's, he's half human, like, you know, he's a little bit human. Like, he just, he's, he's unbelievably kind to us. Very easy to enter with him. You saw him down there now, you know. He stood for you while I was holding him. I, he, I could pull his ear and scratch him and, you know. For a standing like, he's an unbelievably quiet horse. An unbelievably kind horse.